question is for uh, Ms. Thompson. Your role is a woman uh, that fights against the Nazis and what they represent. I would like to know what do you think about the Pegida movement in Germany and the position of the UK in the refugee issue? Oh, crikey. We were trying to talk about the movie Great first. Great start. Great start for a movie about yeah. um, something else. Um, <laughs> um, Actually, um, there is, there is a, a quite a good answer, in a sense, because this movie is about being brave, about saying things that are not popular. And, and so I would say, and Daniel actually addressed this earlier this morning, so I might hand it over to him as well, because he's living in Germany at the moment, and I'm living in Europe, of course, as, as, as it were. Well, a tiny little cloud-bolted, rainy corner of sort of Europe. I mean, really, not sort of, you know, cake-filled, misery-laden, <laughs> grey old Ireland. But anyway, um, the, the sense of people <clears throat> turning their backs on... On, on people who need help, I think is, you know, not being able to say the truth, not being able to say what you really feel, I think is very cor current at the moment, yes. So, Daniel, will you say what you said this morning? <laughs> <laughs> and hit it to Daniel, yeah, yeah, there you go. You take it, Dan, go, go, go. Refugee Thank crisis, you, take it. It's very generous, Thank it's okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, I, I don't know what I said. I said it's, uh, that unfortunately what the film is uh, 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 dealing with is uh, unfortunately still very relevant and yeah. current because in all of Europe and especially in this country um, there is a, a movement to the right so I think uh, we all have to be very alert mm. that uh, you know we are not poisoned by uh, all those people um, and their yeah, rising racist and fascist attitude. So this disease is not extincted, and that's why I think it's important to, to tell these stories and uh, to have this film uh, dealing with this inspiring and courageous couple back in the 30s and 40s who fought against the Nazi regime. Well, I think they're ordinary people first uh, and foremost. What's unusual about uh, this film and the novel before it um, and the story of these two people is that there was nothing particularly remarkable about them in their lives other than uh, living it at a time of great horror. Um, I think Otto had uh, been in the First World War and so there was, you know, I think we, we don't really understand the times. Um, it's very important that we understand the times that were incredibly turbulent uh, all over Europe and all over the world. Um, so by the time we meet them, they're quite closed off from each other and from the world in an odd way, particularly Otto. Uh, and then it's a very personal grief uh, when, when their son is taken from them. And then very personal decisions about how to move through it. Um, I think for me, the interesting thing was there was a massive silence between them. And somehow they found the courage to, to breach it. Mm. And they found the generosity in their own hearts in order to try to share the truth as they knew it to be then, mm. that this was lies, that the policy of hatred as a policy was redundant and they wanted to uh, put themselves on the line to the, to the degree where they knew they would, it would cost them their lives to actually put that out there. And even if even if in practical terms they didn't start a revolution. Um, the idea of a personal and ordinary refusal to go along with the policy of hatred, uh, I think is a massive thing. So that's where I came from anyway. Mm -hmm. You're a French director with some German blood in you. Is there something strange or confusing about making a very German story in English? You know, I'm, I'm a mixture, I'm a European mixture, you know. I was born in Switzerland once again. I, I, my father is Spanish, my mother is German. I feel totally a European. And the way, the way I, I see things, you know, I've been, I've been living uh, a little bit in England, I I've been living in Los Angeles. I'm used to, uh, you know, being the, in the English language, even, even my, if my English is not really good. But uh, at least I can, I, I can express myself and exchange. And, and I think what, what I like about the fact that making that film in English uh, is to bring the film into an international level. You know, that's what we, that was the, 
the, the, the aim, you know. Uh, we, weren't, we, we decided after the, the, this huge uh, uh, revival of the book in 2010, because the, 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 the book was for the first time translated in English and the translation was really, really well done. And then it became hugely successful in, in the UK and in Los Angeles, uh, in Los Angeles, in, in, in the US. Uh, so it was quite natural. We, with uh, Stefan, we, Stefan Arndt, we decided to do the film in English then, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, the, the ending is, is, I think, it shows that when people do the right thing, the way the, the, the Quangle did, you know, with all those letters, those messages, you know, that, you know, what they did was right. And those messages, they never stop. They will, they will stay and they, 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 they you know, they, they pursue, they, they rebound in, 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 in when people, it, it was, it, the, the ending was a way to say, um, we recognize what you did, you know. Uh, we are, um, those messages will go through time, you know, just through time. That's <coughs> What I think it's decided. interesting that we're actually talking about what the Hempels wrote now. Mm. So even though it wasn't immediately apparent at the time that it, you know, it, it sparked a revolution and everybody started reading the postcards and the thing became in a very practical sense. But the fact is that the hope was planted all that, all that time ago and it was buried in Gestapo files and it still came out. Mm. And people still wrote it and Falada wrote about it. Mm. And Vincent Perez made a film about it. And it's still relevant. So there was hope. It still lives. And, and I think also, it's important. Yeah. yeah. And also, isn't the ending also about how you die? How we all die? We, we all have to die. And I don't know about you, but I would like to die feeling uh, not satisfied. That sounds smug, but uh, certainly peaceful. And I think that what they did made it possible for them to die at peace with themselves. I think that's partly what the ending is about, dying. Yeah.